This is the wireless trainer cable from Radio Link. I'm using the R6DS receiver. Note the location of the signal wire on the receiver and that it is connected to the PPM bus of the receiver. Check your specific receiver documents for proper wire location. Other compatible receivers besides the R6DS that I'm using includes the R6DSM and the R12DSM. The trainer cable can be used with any radio link transmitter. Refer to your transmitter's manual for specific instructions. This tutorial only applies to the AT9S Pro radios. Check to make sure that your radio has the latest software update available. Go into Perimeters. Down at the bottom it will give you the version number. Transfer all of the settings from your model Set reverse endpoint sub trim switch assignments, dual rates, and expo to the trainer radio. Make sure the trainer radio is set up for PPM. To do this, go to system, check your output, make sure it is saying PPM. Connect the wireless trainer cable to the back of your AT9S radio. Ensure that the power is on. Also make sure that this is the only radio powered up. Once the transmitter is powered on, you will notice the red light confirming that it is powered up. Press the bind button on your radio and hold until the light starts flashing and release. Once the light is solid, you know that your radio is bound to this receiver. Press the button twice to get the blue light which is the PPM SBUS light function. Your cable is now set. Remove the cable from the radio. Now install the trainer cable to the back of the master radio. You will notice the signal bar on your trainer radio is now active showing that it is properly bound and communicating. Once connection has been established, enter the trainer function on your master radio. Go into your menus, go to trainer, go to mix, where it says I and H, you want to turn that to off. You can then custom tailor what controls you want to allow the trainee to have. Set the mode to either trigger to use the trainer switch as an on off switch, or hold where you hold the switch for trainer mode and release the switch to resume master control. Exit the setting menus to your main screen. From your main screen, press end one time to enter your servo function. Pull the H switch and move the trainer radios, controls, and switches that you've allowed to be assigned to ensure proper function. Ground test the aircraft to ensure proper and safe function before flight. For added insurance and easier training, I would recommend adding the BIMA flight controller to the airplane. With the BIMA flight controller, it has the function to limit roll and elevator rates and it will allow the student to transition quickly to fly on their own.